Football doping is not an uncommon concern. Goal examines what doping is, how serious of a problem it is in the sport, and the penalties that footballers may encounter. Let's look at five footballers charged with using illegal substances without any further ado. Hello guys and welcome to Athletic Prime Stars. We have a fascinating video for you today where we'll talk about footballers who have been discovered using drugs. Let's start our list with our first entry, Diego Maradona. Diego Maradona, an Argentine soccer legend known for his legendary on-field performance and off-field drug use, was immediately suspended from the World Cup after testing positive for five ephedrine variations a stimulant outlawed by soccer's global governing body. The choice was made at a press conference held six hours before Argentina lost 2-0 to Bulgaria in the Cotton Bowl match. Maradona's attendance would have marked his record-tying 22nd World Cup appearance. In 1986, he nearly single-handedly guided his nation to the World Cup title. Four years later, he inspired the team yet again when Argentina advanced to the tournament's championship match before falling to West Germany. Although many had predicted that Maradona would not play a significant role in the tournament due to his age and a 15-month suspension for cocaine use in 1991 and 92, he scored a goal. FIFA, the organization that oversees football worldwide, announced that it would postpone deciding whether to punish Maradona until after the World Cup. At the news conference, officials from the Argentinian team announced that he would not be making any public comments. However, Maradona later told Buenos Aires' Channel 13 that he had retired from football. My spirit is torn. I don't think I desire further vengeance. Although it was said that his teammates were urging one another to win it for Diego, they were defeated by the Bulgarians and dropped to third place in their group. The five compounds found in Maradona's system were not contained in any one medicine. According to doctor and FIFA executive committee member Michel Ducher, Maradona must have taken cocktail drugs, he stated. Ephedrine, phenylpropanolamine, pseudoephedrine, non-pseudoephedrine, and methylephedrine were the five prohibited chemicals FIFA identified as present in Maradona's test. Number 2. Pep Guardiola Pep Guardiola played a lengthy and successful career as a superb midfielder before going on to become one of the best coaches in the world of football. He was a standout performer with great ball handling, great vision, and game-reading skills. Guardiola failed a drug test in 2001, and his blood was found to contain the illegal chemical Nandrolone. The Spaniard didn't have it, though, and he fought the assertion in a case that lasted six long years. But Guardiola deserves praise for clearing his name in 2007. Pep Guardiola was revealed as the second prominent player in Italian football to test positive for the outlawed anabolic steroid Nandrolone. After the Serie A match against Piacenza on October 21st, the former Barcelona captain, who had signed a one-year contract with Brescia in September, failed a drug test. Yap Stam, a former Manchester United defender who currently plays for Lazio, was punished immediately after it was revealed that he had tested positive for Nandrolone. The Spaniard was given a four-month suspension. However, the charges were dropped six years later following a successful appeal. Guardiola, the Premier League manager of Manchester City, won an appeal in 2005, and the Brescia court sentenced him to a seven-month jail term with a suspended sentence. Long after ending his playing career, he, his close friend, and fellow former water polo player Manuel Estiarte persisted in challenging the ruling. Six years later, an appeal resulted in the player being acquitted of all charges. In 2009, the prosecution's case was again reopened, but finally dropped. Glad to see you guys are still here. Subscribe to our channel, Athletic Prime Stars. We'll help you change the game and promote you sports knowledge. Number 3. Adrian Mutu One of Romania's top footballers ever is Adrian Mutu. However, Mutu's career has been marred by his repeated infractions of the anti-drug policy. After failing an anti-doping test in January 2010, Fiorentina and former Chelsea striker Adrian Mutu was given a nine-month suspension. After the Italian anti-doping tribunal heard the case, the Romanian international club upheld the decision. Because Mutu had already missed two months of play, his suspension will last until October. The anti-doping tribunal gave Adrian Mutu a nine-month break after learning that the violist had tested positive for Sibutramine. Mutu's Chelsea career ended in 2004 when he was fired for cocaine use and given a seven-month drug ban. This is the second extended drug ban for Mutu. Mutu had claimed to the prosecution that the Sibutramine traces discovered in his test came from the diet pills his mother had given him. He remarked, I think this is a terrible punishment. It seems excessive. 
Though the error was made and payment was due, I had lower expectations. For the sake of the team and the supporters, I would also like to express my regret for leaving Fiorentina without my services for the upcoming few months. After a poor stint with Juventus, Mutu joined Fiorentina, where he scored 50 goals in 91 games. After serving a four-year drug-related suspension, Mutu rebuilt his Florence career. Number 4. Samir Nasri Although he had also been used in central midfield, his primary position on the field were attacking midfielder and winger. Nasri was renowned for his ball control, dribbling, and passing skills. Samir Nasri, a former Manchester City and Arsenal star, claims that the doping suspension destroyed his career. The former France international received illicit injections in Los Angeles in 2016 and was punished with an 18-month suspension that damaged his career. Nasri, 34, has opted to retire since he could not regain his form due to the length of the rest. To Le Journal du Dimanche, the attacking midfielder expressed his frustration. I was sick, so it was a vitamin shot, he explained. Therefore, it was more than unjust. This caused me to halt in my tracks. Even though his manager at the time, George Sampaoli, wanted him on the pitch after his suspension, the player continued to play for Sevilla but found life challenging. I stopped wanting to play after that. Even though I requested that Sampaoli leave me off the team, he insisted I participate. I was devastated because I believed I would face a two-year ban. I felt bewildered, uneasy, and angry about everything. He claimed that football was over for me, even though I didn't show it on the pitch. He briefly played for West Ham and Anderlecht after his stint with Sevilla had ended, but he was now deciding to hang up his boots for good. And at number 5, Andre Onana. Andre Onana, a Serie A team Inter Milan goalkeeper, is a professional Cameroonian football player. Andre Onana is the most recent football player to get a suspension for breaking anti-doping regulations. The AFC Ajax custodian was discovered using a drug that was supposedly first given to his wife. The custodian has been given a 12-month ban from any football-related activity, which might thwart his future transfer to a major European team. Following this news, club managing director Edwin van der Sar issued a statement in which he said, This is a terrible setback not only for Andre himself, but also for us as a club. We had hoped for a punishment that was either conditional or considerably shorter than these 12 months, as it was not meant to help him build muscle and enhance his ability. Ajax will contest the penalty at the Court of Arbitration for Sport, or CAS. Athletes are responsible for any prohibited chemicals in their bodies under anti-doping regulations, even though they claim they were not careless or at fault. The matter moved quickly, and the decision was made eight days after the appeal hearing. That's all, everyone. The video for today has come to an end. I hope the information about these football stars has astounded you. Watch more videos on our Athletic Prime Stars channel by liking and subscribing. We'll be back shortly with a new video. See you next time.